morning guys welcome back to another vlog i feel like my face looks a little crazy right now because i just did a self tan last night so it's like super fresh and dark right now and i also pretty much just woke up i'm starting this vlog off on a thursday which is kind of random but i was vlogging earlier in the week and i just ended the last one yesterday so i figured why not pick up where i left off and start another one at the moment i am doing social media full time as my job so i don't really have like a specific work schedule it's very flexible and i kind of just can work whenever i want to but for the most part in order to like keep somewhat of a routine throughout the week i try to get most of my work done mondays through thursdays so that way i can have friday saturday and sunday to just relax hang out with friends do whatever i want so today is like my last work day of the week um and today i have to post a video on youtube i already uploaded it it's edited and ready to go but i have to create the thumbnail and fill out the description which that alone is pretty time consuming that's like a whole separate step it's like filming is one thing editing is another thing and then actually filling out all of the information and getting that video public and then promoting the video it's like there's multiple steps to it all and then i have to edit my podcast me and my best friend have a podcast together i am on editing duty and our podcast episodes go up on thursdays so i really need to get on that so that i can post it today normally i try to get that edited and taken care of earlier in the week so that we can both listen to it first and make sure it sounds good um and then i'll schedule it ahead of time but this week it, the days just got away from me i don't know what happened luckily we don't have like a specific upload time on thursdays so i think as long as i get it up by like afternoon sometime it should be fine after i'm finished with all of my computer work for the day i am doing someone's hair later and i'm actually really excited about it i'm going to have my coffee and just chill for a little bit i love having my mornings to just like take it slow take my time enjoy my coffee catch up on youtube videos check instagram that kind of stuff so that's what i'm gonna do also i can tell that it's gonna be a good week and a good weekend because the weather is super nice and i'm very excited it's back to being in like the mid to high 70s and we got like a little bit of humidity in the air a little bit of a breeze Hey guys, welcome back to the Girls Who Get It podcast. I'm Julia. And I'm Sam. Just finished editing the podcast episode. This is the episode with my brother where we were answering questions that you guys wanted to ask a guy. And it was a pretty good episode, I'm not even gonna lie. I was sitting here editing it and I was cracking up laughing. <laughs> if you're not already following the podcast, I'll have a link in the description. Um, you can listen to us just on the website or we are also on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Now that this is exported, I am going to upload it. So I have the episode uploaded. I have all the information filled out. Before I actually publish it publicly, I like to listen back to it just to make sure everything sounds good there's no mistakes because then once it's posted i don't want to have to go through the process of taking it down and re-uploading and all of that so i'm gonna do that while i get ready for the day that way i can be a little bit more productive because it's a pretty long episode and if i'm just sitting there listening to it it's gonna kill a lot of time so if i am like doing my makeup and stuff in the meantime at least i'll be like killing two birds with one stone. And then once that's published, I still need to fill out the description and do the thumbnail for my video, post that. Hey guys, welcome back to the Girls Who Get It podcast. I'm Julia. And I'm Sam. And today we have our first guest. It's like solely on Twitter, so like. You can have three wives, but I'm gonna have three husbands too. All right, yeah. 
um, and he hasn't saved it around either, which hasn't been in anything long term. Hmm. Is, is this a question for me to answer? That kind of sounds like a question for you guys. Okay, it is 3.15, and I am officially done with all of my work for the day, or for the week, really. It's a very good feeling. I just recorded an apartment tour video, which I had been meaning to do for the longest time, so finally did that. I'll edit this and post it in a few days. In the meantime, I just imported all the footage onto my computer so that I have it. I am probably just going to chill for the next couple of hours. I'm going to do my friend's hair around 6-ish, 6, 6, 6.30, somewhere around there. And I'm really excited because um, not only am I doing her hair, but a few of us are getting together and we're having dinner and also celebrating St. Patrick's Day. I didn't even realize it's St. Patrick's Day today. So we're going to have a little St. Patty's Day celebration while I'm doing her hair and we're just all going to hang out and stuff for the night. So it should be fun. Before I stop there though, I do have to go to the beauty supply store to get the color and all the supplies that we need. Um, I mean, not really the supplies, but like products. Maybe I should do that now. Just kind of gather everything that I need. So we need a cape, of course, gloves, which I might not bring this whole box. I think I'll just bring a pair of gloves, make it easier, less to carry. I need my shears, cause she did ask if I could cut her hair as well. Just make sure, yes, that I have a comb in here. Oh, I did not clean this out well enough clearly <laughs> i'm gonna clean that um but i'm gonna bring my color bottle foiling comb because i am touching up her blonde so we're gonna do some foils um so i need my comb i need a color brush i'm gonna bring my measuring cup my whisk my detangling brush color bowls i don't Probably don't need two. I'll, I'll bring two just to be on the safe side. Just in case. Better to have more than what you need than not enough, obviously. And then my foils, which, oh yeah. I still have a lot in there. And then as far as the actual lightener and toner and that kind of stuff, I am gonna go buy that at the store and then she's just gonna reimburse me for the products but you know she can't obviously go get the stuff herself because a it's i'm using professional stuff so you have to have a cosmetology license in order to purchase anything from the store i'm going to and b she doesn't do hair so she doesn't really know what she needs to get so it's just easier for me to go myself grab everything really quick. I'm also going to bring my blow dryer and a round brush. I don't know if she's gonna want me to actually like blow it out and style it and all that since we're just doing it at home, but I'll bring it with me just in case so that I have the option. Okay, I got my bag all packed up. I also remembered to throw in a towel um, and some clips. Super important, I can't believe I almost forgot that. But I think now we have everything but i have like a good hour and a half till i need to leave so i am going to watch one more episode i started watching this show on netflix called where is it pieces of her it's really really good i'm on episode six now i think there's only eight episodes in total i, I was having a hard time like getting into it and focusing but by like episode four, I want to say, I was like, oh, shit. And now I'm hooked and I love it. And I was watching it really late last night and I was like literally dozing off. And I was just like, no, I just need to finish this episode. It's so good. So I will check back in when it's time for me to leave. All right, I'm about to head out. Here's my outfit. I have this bodysuit from Zara, jeans from Target. They're like super baggy and oversized and stretchy and really, really comfortable. And then this shirt is actually a men's shirt from Bass. 
and I just have my pillow slides. Just want it to be super comfy, but still feel like a little bit put together. So that's what I'm going with. Got to take this little boy out to use the bathroom. Got to go potty. Let's go potty before I go. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera with me, but I will try to get some clips on my phone. Totally forgot to get a before clip while I was in the moment, but she's naturally an ashy, like level five or six, I would say. And the goal was to just bring her blonde up and brighten it up and refresh the ends. So I did my signature baby foil all around her hairline, front, sides, and back and then a few foils up top in the crown area. 10 minutes before I pulled those foils out, I ran some lightener on her ends, and then I toned her all over. I think for her root, I did 7M Redken Shades EQ, and then for her ends, I did equal parts 9N with 9GI. Good morning. I'm having one of those mornings where I'm just feeling really sad and hard on myself and I don't want this to be like depressing but I also felt like you guys know I mean if you've been watching me for a while you know that I like to share like real raw vulnerable moments because I love sharing the good and when I'm feeling super positive and happy but I just feel like we get so much of that on social media like it's just all a highlight reel for the most part and real life is not always like that so when I am feeling kind of down I like to share it a little bit just so you know like we all go through this and it's funny I was checking my phone this morning when I got up and I was you know, I had posted a picture yesterday and I was looking at all the notifications and all the comments and someone's obviously in a really good mood. But yeah, like the comments are also positive, like, oh my God, like just showering me in compliments. And it's so crazy how I could be sitting there reading these compliments and these nice things that these strangers are saying to me and still feel so shitty about myself. I I'm, I'm sure every like social media person, like every content creator influencer whatever you want to call it feels that way and it's crazy how you can look at somebody that you know has so many followers and they're always getting all this praise online and they could be really hurting deep down and you'd never know because they're only showing you the good stuff and you would think like oh my god they're so beautiful they have this perfect body I'm not saying this about myself but you know like there's tons of people I follow that I, I think like, oh my god, their life looks so perfect. Must be so nice. But it doesn't mean that they might not be like struggling mentally and emotionally and stuff. So just a little reminder that we all go through this stuff and don't compare yourself to people that you follow online and don't feel like you're alone when you're feeling this way because it happens to all of us there's just been like a lot in my personal life that's just been like messing with me emotionally I guess yeah I don't know I just I've been feeling really sad and um guilty and bad about myself then I remind myself like you shouldn't feel this way like you have a, a really blessed life and you're very fortunate and, like you have so many things to be happy about and to be you know proud of yourself for and grateful for and like even today you know um like honestly all I want to do today is like curl up in a ball on the couch and like just kind of be left alone but then I, I'm like, no, it's it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be like 80 degrees. It's sunny. It's gorgeous. I just took Benny out for a walk and it's so nice outside. And it's like the perfect beach day. And I should go out and, you know, I, I feel bad like keeping him cooped up in the apartment. And then I feel like even worse and more guilty. And I do feel like as much as I 
don't want to be out and around people right now I do feel like that probably would help me um, because I know if I just stay home alone I'm just going to keep like having these negative thoughts and just keep overthinking and talking to my friends or like just hanging out with my friends would make me feel a lot better to just kind of like vent but then at the same time I feel like I'm being a burden and I don't like that like I'm one of those people that I love being there for my friends and like they can come and vent to me whenever and I will just listen but then when it comes to me leaning on other people I have a hard time doing that because I just feel bad and I feel like I'm being annoying and a burden and I just internalize stuff a lot and I know I shouldn't do that. Whew. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> just wanted to share like we all have our shit that we're going through and I'll be okay. I'm, I'm sure like that in the next clip I'll be like all smiling and in a good mood and stuff so I don't want you guys to worry about me but I just wanted to open up a little bit um I'm gonna go have my morning coffee because that always makes me feel so much better and I'm gonna watch the last episode of pieces of her hopefully that'll get my mind off of things and then yeah I'll see how I'm feeling after that it's a couple hours later I had my coffee watched my show I'm gonna go take Benny to the dog park I think it'll be good for me to just sit outside and bring my airpods so I can listen to a podcast there is a new crime weekly episode and that makes me very happy so I'm gonna listen to that while we're at the park and I will let you know when we get back how I'm feeling and then I think I might text one of my friends down here and see if she's down to just have like a girls night. I think that would be good for me too. So hopefully she's available. We'll see you guys a little bit later. Made a new friend. Just got back from the dog park. <laughs> you had a good time? Yeah, it was really good though. I'm very happy that he was able to get his energy out and play. He made a friend with this boxer, so freaking cute. They were just playing with each other the entire time and then they both started to get tired and they were just like resting under the bench I was sitting on. It was so freaking cute. I'm still not feeling like 100%, but I'm like 80% better i would say you're also so dirty look at you look how dirty you got i'm about to take a shower myself so i'm just gonna throw him in there with me it honestly makes me feel a lot better too just knowing that he is happy and content i also did end up texting my friend and it's just funny how you know i feel guilty reaching out to her asking if she wants to hang out with me because i know she's really busy and maybe she like wants to catch up on like house chores or just wants to be left alone or whatever and I don't want to be a burden and be like oh woe is me and be like needy you know by asking her to hang out but I texted her and she was like oh my god yeah of course like come over whenever you want like I'm almost done with work for the day we can go out tonight I'll make dinner like let's have drinks <laughs> it just made me realize like how silly and ridiculous I was being um so if you have friends or family or somebody in your life reach out to them if you are feeling like you just don't want to be alone or you just need somebody to talk to and even if you're like me and you struggle with that and you feel like you're being annoying you probably aren't you know like everybody needs a shoulder to lean on every once in a while and sometimes being by yourself and 
allowing yourself to just be stuck in your own head isn't the best thing and it's good to be around other people oh my god you're so tired <laughs> um but yeah it's, it's good sometimes to be around other people and just get out i will probably see you guys tomorrow hello guys good afternoon it's the next day i'm in a little bit of a hurry <laughs> so yesterday i ended up hanging out with my friends and it was like just the perfect girls night it was exactly what i needed we just hung out and we made some espresso martinis at home and then we all got ready together and we went out and it was a fun night but like nothing wild you know it was just like it was just good i was still like feeling a little sad this morning i'm not gonna lie but i ended up calling my mom because i hadn't talked to her we like text and stuff every so often but i haven't had a like full phone conversation with her in a while and i ended up being on the phone with her for over an hour and a half and then i realized oh crap i gotta go get ready because i have a pilates class there's a pilates studio down here in wilmington called club pilates i don't know i know there's a couple of them in this area i don't know if it's like a chain all over the country or if it's just like a local thing i don't know but i had never done pilates before i've done like at home pilates workouts that i've seen online like blog pilates but i've never done an actual pilates class and like worked out on the reformer machines so i had been curious to try it and i saw that the pilates studio down here does free sessions for your first time so me and my friends that i was hanging out with last night a couple weeks ago we went and we did the free intro class and it just like walked us through like all the different movements and how to use the machine and all of that so we decided to sign up for an actual real class to feel it out and see what that kind of vibe is i don't know if i'm gonna actually sign up and like do it regularly because it is kind of expensive but yeah we're just gonna try out this one class see how it goes just wanted to check in let you know how my weekend is going good morning it's monday yeah i don't know why i had to think so hard about that i just got somewhat dressed kind of i have a nail appointment in about an hour and then after that i'm gonna run to the grocery store and then i need to do some editing when i get home so it's gonna be a pretty chill day but i had such a good weekend i told you how friday night i went out um saturday i went to that pilates class and i really liked it i felt like i mean they have different levels so i'm still in like the beginner 101 level obviously because it's my first time but i feel like the pace was like it was easy to keep up it was pretty slow and it reminded me in a lot of ways of yoga like it's a lot of like slow controlled movements a lot of mind body connection um really feeling like all of your muscles working a lot of like stability and core balance stretching and i really really like it and i just like the environment of it too i'm contemplating if i want to actually sign up for a membership or not then after our pilates class we got all of the doggies together they both have dogs that are like the same size and age as my dog so it's perfect they play so well together so they got together and played we had lunch together then we went to this lake and the dogs all went swimming and it was so cute because Benny is terrified of water. He was like really, really hesitant to go in, but the more he was like watching them swimming and playing and seeing that they were having such a good time, he like eventually slowly made his way in and he didn't like go all the way out and like really swim, but he got like shoulder deep. It was, it was so cute. They had so much fun. They got so muddy, but they had a really good time. And then we walked around the lake and then after that they came and hung out here and we just had some pizza and some drinks it was just fun like a really chill fun girls night we played truth or drink and just listened to music and just like talked we had some deep conversations it was just it was just so nice i'm gonna go have my coffee and um get ready to leave pretty soon and then i will show you my nails after i get them done so excited
back from getting my nails done. It's fine. It was just the cup rest for my Nespresso that fell. Um, but yeah, here's my nails. Love them. The name, because sometimes I can't see the name on the bottle, but this one, it's from DND, and the name was Chasen Summer. I decided to just keep them length and shape wise how they were. And this is a gel color. I get hard gel as the base and then just put a gel color on top. But I also went to the store. So I'll show you what I got while I put this stuff away. Got some sweet potatoes. Got a bag of onions. Then I got these little gemstone potatoes. I got a rotisserie chicken because I was really craving that. And this is always like good to have on hand because you can just eat it as is or shred it up, put it in a salad, a sandwich. Then I got two bags of these little frozen meals. I like to just keep stuff like this in the freezer just in case. I got Alfredo chicken and garlic shrimp. I got some sharp cheddar cheese because I was all out of cheese butter because i'm running low on that giant bag of green beans and then i got a bunch of deli meat because i don't know yesterday i got such a craving for a sandwich and then i got this sesame italian bread some mustard and mayo to go on that i also got alfredo sauce i also got a can of chickpeas, a can of cannelli beans, and some vegetable broth. I've really been into bean and vegetable soup lately. Then I got some chai latte. I love this stuff. This is what keeps me from going to Starbucks all the time. I like rarely go to Starbucks anymore these days. And Walmart, I have found, is where you can get these for the cheapest price. I don't drink it all the time. It's not like an everyday thing, but every so often if I'm craving a Starbucks type drink, I will make that. Got a big thing of half and half for my coffee. I'm gonna toast up a little bit of this bread, make myself a sandwich, and then I'm gonna get some editing done. And it is a really nice day out, so depending on what time I get done with my work, I definitely wanna take Benny out for a walk and just enjoy the nice weather. Hello, it's the next day. It's already 5.36. I've done a lot already today. I put some makeup on, which now is starting to look a little messy. I filmed a Q&A video earlier. I'm gonna edit that and ideally I'd like to post it tonight, if not tomorrow. And I made some soup for lunch. I put those beans that I showed you that I got from the store yesterday. So we just got some white beans, spinach, carrots, onion, garlic, tomato, and vegetable broth. Super delicious. And I made some shells on the side. So I'm going to put this away, put these dishes in the dishwasher. I have a bunch of clean dishes that I did last night that I need to put away. One of my friends is coming over in about an hour to get her hair cut. I'll show you a little before and after. Happy Thursday. We're about to make my morning coffee. I think I mentioned it at the beginning of this vlog, but Thursdays I try to make like my Fridays. So I want to edit this video so that I can post it this weekend. Um, I also have to listen back to our most recent podcast episode. I edited that earlier in the week, but I want to listen to the whole thing from start to finish just to make sure that there's no mistakes and that it all sounds good because then I have to post that today. It's actually my friend Julia that I do my podcast with. It's her birthday today and she's in Italy right now. I'm so happy for her. I hope she's having the best time. And then I'm just gonna check and see if there's any emails that I need to respond to. But I think that should be it as far as work stuff goes. What's new with you? Oh, new with me, um, as you know, 
-hmm. my ex actually came to visit. And it is kind of expensive, but yeah, we're just gonna by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but we didn't have any bathroom confessional clips in this vlog, so you know I had to include at least one, but I just finished all of my work for the week. I feel kind of like a bum because I've literally stayed in my pajamas all day. I changed into a different robe because I decided to wash the other one, but I've didn't get dressed and sometimes that makes me feel like a bum even though I technically Was working all day and I got a lot done. It was very productive I was just editing everything in this vlog that you've watched up until this point and it's interesting to see How the week started out and how I was like just in a really low place and I feel like for the last month or so at least like month and a half even like my mental health just hasn't really been the best and I feel like my work has suffered because of it Even though I have still been posting every week. I feel Honestly, like I haven't been as creative as I normally am and I haven't been as inspired and I just have been kind of like posting just to post but I'm not like excited about what I'm sharing and the work that I'm doing, you know? And I hate that feeling. And it's just tricky, especially, and I'm not complaining by any means, but it's a tricky, weird thing when you're doing lifestyle vlogging because majority of what I'm sharing online is just like my real life stuff. And there's that pressure sometimes to like always make it interesting and make each vlog different from the last one but sometimes that's hard because sometimes I'm just not doing interesting things and my weeks are gonna always look the same and then add on top of that the fact that my mental health has kind of been struggling it just adds like a whole nother layer on top of everything else I did get a negative comment a couple nights ago that was just like stupid and insensitive and fucked up and clearly left by a person who has never struggled with depression. It was just kind of like, yeah, your content is just, has been really boring lately and you're a hot mess because you don't make your bed every day. Like, okay. And you know, most of that stuff is like just so stupid and I let it roll off my shoulder. To a certain extent, it just, it does kind of upset me a little bit because it's like, I, I feel like I already put enough fucking pressure on myself and I'm hard enough on myself as it is, then getting feedback like that doesn't help. Like it doesn't make me feel more positive or motivated, you know what I mean? But the main point I was getting at is I feel like this week I really can feel myself getting my creative flow back and I am feeling more excited and I've had all these ideas of videos that I want to film and things that I want to do. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one and found some of the stuff I talked about relatable. Just want you to know like you are never alone no matter what it is that you're going through and I really do appreciate everybody who watches because I get so many amazing supportive comments every single day, DMs, on Instagram, everything and I really feel like I just have this like army of people that are there for me that just like get me and that's such an amazing incredible thing and I know not everybody has that so I feel very honored and blessed and really appreciative so I don't want you to ever think that I take it for granted even if I'm like a little bit lazy with the posting or it seems like I'm not putting in as much effort it's not that I don't care or that I don't love doing this or, you know. Anyway, I'm going to do a little bit more laundry and just kind of get my place cleaned up. And that's going to be it for my week. And then tomorrow, my weekend can begin. And I think I will start a new vlog and maybe bring you along a little bit more this weekend and share some of the stuff that I do outside of the apartment. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you really soon. In my next video don't forget go listen to my podcast i'll have it linked in the description and i'll see you guys really soon bye